welcome back to the rabbit's chair and it's still super super hot so last week we had the grass cut and started turning it and rowing it up ready for baling this week the bales should be coming in so we'll have a look at that in a bit also while the barn's empty we'll have a look back at when we use the barn as a stage um, we'll also have a look at clearing up a bit around here when we get a chance and we may may go and see the boat and do some work over there so let's see what happens let's go So this is this year's haylage um, and it's all wrapped in the plastic and that's what we're trying to cut down on. But hay we have to store under a barn so it keeps dry whereas the haylage is wrapped in the plastic and it's stored like that um, and it ferments so it's got a really sweet smell but there's just too much plastic in the world and we're trying to cut down what we can so we've had half and half this year and think hopefully next year we'll go down to all hay and no more haylage which hopefully should eliminate the plastic so that's the haylage sorted and um, we'll get the hay into the barn as soon as it's done and um, so we managed to get a little bit of time to go over to the boat and start a bit of work on it but mostly go over to start the engine so let's see whether it did okay it's been stood all winter let's see whether it starts it's got a bit of power Through. Get a lot of fuel through. Fuel is on its way. Ready? Yeah. Let's try it. Breeze. 
so it did and um yeah we'll we'll have to go back in the next week or so to go and sort it out because ed's got to start getting it ready to move back in for the end of the summer right the hay's done so we can load it into the barn now so let's go The hay doesn't use the plastic, it needs an extra turning so it costs us a little more to make, one more extra turn to dry it out, but it's, um, yeah, no plastic. So that's the hay in the barn. Um, some of those bales were really, well, all of those bales were really heavy. So, yeah, you could hear the tractor creaking away as it carried them. Um, so while it's empty, um, it's a good time usually to turn it into a bit of a stage and a performance area. And so a few years ago, one of the gatherings, uh, we had the pleasure to have Cookie Tongue playing under the barn. So let's have a look at them play.
So that's just a short experience of Cookie Tongue from when they came a few years ago. And they're actually on tour at the moment. You can catch them online and um, support them somehow. So have a look, see Cookie Tongue. And they actually, they're the one whose music we use for most of these rabbit's chairs. Um, so yeah, when we did the stage, we uncovered a wasp's nest in there. So that was quite exciting. Um, but yes, we like to use a stage like that. So the work's not finished in the barn though. Let's go have a look. So that's the hay in and not quite as much as we expected down here as hay. We've got more up the field as haylage. So we still have sort of a couple of bays of this empty. So I'm going to move that straw back inside and it seems really sort of counterproductive to start moving things backwards and forwards but you just never know what's going to happen in this game. So we moved it out to bring the hay in and now we've got to move that back in. So let's go. And that is all of it in. So the straw is now back in the barn and the tractor's there. So it was quite good. It was quite a good opportunity for Ed to learn how to drive the tractor. So he stacked most of the straw and we now have a space over here for us to sort out some other stuff in. So it's all been quite worthwhile. So that's that. It feels like it's going to rain as well, so just in time. And that's it. That's everything in the barn for the year. Um, so it's always a high point for us because it means that we've got the crop in. Um, in our case, hay and usually straw. And um, so, yeah, that's good. So we had a bit of news about one of the horses and she's ready to come back. So we're just gonna do some work on the van. So let's see what Edward's been doing. So we've had word that we need to go and get Poppy back from the stallion. And as part of our preparation, Ed is in the middle of installing uh, video and screen so that we can monitor the horses as we traveled so we'll have a look at that while we're traveling so the cameras are installed and I'm now stood in the dark in the box you can just see the camera there well, you can't actually know I've lost it but if I go through to the cab and look at us we can't actually see it because it's too bright there we go you can just focus in on it there and we can see Somewhere in there, you can see me. So these are really good because they're like infrared cameras. So that works pretty well. And um, we'll have a look at it in use next week um, when we go over and pick her up. So this week's been pretty busy. Um, all of the hazing and the haylage. And we've had a look back at what we use the barn for when we don't have hay and haylage in. So when we use it as another stage. And hopefully next year we'll be able to use it as a stage again. Um, we was at a quick look at the boat. We'll go back and see more of that next week. And we'll have a look at picking Poppy up next week as well. So, yeah, we seem to be busier than ever at the moment. So join us next week from the rabbit's chair. I didn't expect hail.